Hi boys and girls, welcome back for another virtual field trip. This week you're going to meet some of the firefighters from the City of Washington Fire Station. And unfortunately we were not able to go to the fire station to take a tour, but they did bring one of their fire trucks for us to take a tour of. So you're going to do that with Miss Kira this week and I'm sure you will all have a lot of fun and learn some new things about the fire trucks. and they're going to tell you about the fire truck and what they do. Good. That one. Hello everyone. Welcome to the City of Washington's Truck 54. Staffing it today are myself, Fireman Chuck. We have Captain Brent Dabina. And on the other side of the fire apparatus, we have Firefighter Pat Bell. Um, today we're just going to give you a quick overview of the apparatus we brought, which is a ladder truck, as you can see by the giant ladder on top of it. And also, uh, in the city of Washington today, we have an engine on the other side of town, which is not here though. <laughs> um, uh, so right now we're going to show you the inside cab of the truck where the personnel ride. And you can see that we have air packs in the seats, so we can put those on. And our, some of our gear is sitting here too, so you can take a good look at that if you want to look around the inside of the cab virtually. Okay, and you can see the big tires. Look at Miss Kiera compared compared to the wheel. It's so <laughs> tiny. You're just tiny in general. I know some okay. of them are just as tall as me. They're like Miss Kiera, I'm taller than you. And moving on back, this is the the back of the cab where more personnel ride, so the firefighters can uh, all safely seatbelt themselves in and get their gear on for a fire. Yes. <clears throat> Okay, and also in the cab we have some tools and stuff that you might have seen. Um, we have tools on the outside of the cab, We've got some hooks and other hand tools, some lights. We have our hoses under the tarp here. You can see a nozzle sticking out. Uh, we have several different kinds of hoses for different things that we do. This truck does have water on it. Um, got an electrical cord. Some. Uh, different adapters here so we can take water into our fire truck from a fire hydrant and we can discharge water out to our fire hoses. We've got some steps here that go up top. Some specialized equipment here. This is some foam just for firefighting. It helps put uh, fire out. We have some power tools here, some chainsaws and other cutting saws. And what we commonly do with those if there's a house fire and we need to vent the roof to get smoke and superheated gases out, we might cut a hole with these. So that'll vertically get water, or I'm sorry, get smoke out of a, a structure. And also to assist with that are the, these big fans here. And uh, what we do is we'll put them in maybe the front door and help pressurize good air into the house to get the smoke out. And with those air packs that you've seen in our seats there, there's spare cylinders to put in them. So when we breathe out all that air, we can just switch a cylinder out and go right back in and fight fire. That's a neat little spot where we keep those. And some more big tires. Look at them. Since we also do more than fight fire, we have medical supplies here because we're all trained EMTs and or some paramedics and we can help if you're sick or hurt before the ambulance gets there. And we assist the ambulance with a lot of things that they do. So there's a lot of specialized medical equipment here, including oxygen and uh, an AED that'll shock your heart back into a rhythm. Yeah. We know how to use that. I know how to use it. That's excellent, that's yeah. really good. So we have some ropes here for possible rope rescue situations, extinguisher. Nothing makes a ladder truck more complete than having a, a whole bunch of ladders on it. In, in addition to the 100 foot ladder on the top, we have different size ground ladders, extension ladders, um, 
everything comes in handy for a different situation. So that's why we have different things. As you can see, this is a really neat spot where we can fit a lot of them. And some, some hand tools we can fit in here with our ladders. What are those for? Um, pulling walls and uh, looking for extension of fire. When If we put the fire out, we have to sometimes open up walls or ceilings. To, to see where it started. Yeah, to find hidden fires and put out the rest of it, make sure it's completely out. Right here, this big yellow hose, that's what we hook into the fire hydrant to get more water to our fire truck because this can only hold a limited supply of water. So we use that for a supply line to give us more water. Or if we happen to feed water from ourselves to our engine or from the engine to our truck, it feeds large supplies of water. I'll tell you what I'll do for you. I'm gonna climb up here. If you want to hand me one, I can show them the controls of the, uh, the ladder truck. Okay. Here's the controls of our ladder truck. We can raise and lower and, and turn our truck left and right with it. It's not on, so uh, we don't have power to this to put our ladder up, but here's what our ladder looks like. And what it'll do, it'll go straight up in the air like this and we can extend it out and turn it this way and turn it that way. So that's pretty cool. kitty litter container but in it is a product we call oil dry so if there's a a fuel or something like from a vehicle accident on the road like a fluid and the road's really slick we'll apply this and it kind of looks like sand and it helps dry up that stuff so we can clean it up uh, some cool things we have in here in addition to help to sweep up our oil dry uh, we have some batteries and we have this really neat tool here and if all the kids were here I'd ask them if they knew what this was because some of them usually do. Uh, this is commonly referred to as the jaws of life and it's a power hydraulic tool. It's an electric hydraulic tool. Um, what this will do, this could help cut open a car, get the doors off, maybe the roof. So if someone's injured and they're trapped in there, we can get them out and on their way to the hospital. So that's why they call it the jaws of life. And we have several of these. Uh, on our engine, we have a lot more tools like this. Moving along, we got some more hose. Um, we call this a high rise pack. It's specially designed for high rise fires, but we can use it for anything. And some other tools and equipment, some hand, large hand tools and other things we use on a day to day basis some short pieces of hose and extra stuff that make things easier because sometimes we don't need a whole long section a nice short piece will will help us do something quicker we got some lights we got some more hand tools and we got some things that put hoses together make hoses longer put different hoses to different sizes a whole bunch of adapters there um, and over here these are the controls of how we pump water to our fire hoses. It looks really technical. It's actually not if you, once you learn how to do it, but all these gauges tell you at what pressure you're feeding water and such and so on. So it's, it's pretty neat. We got gauges that tell us how much water we have. And this big barrel here is another way we take water in to our fire truck. And the driver's seat, what's kind of just like your car truck at home or your parents car truck so you can take a look there this is usually a time where we'd let you all sit there and get a photo but unfortunately you couldn't be with us today we're really sad about that so hopefully this this tour is a uh, kind of sufficient for that and maybe next year we can have everyone and get a nice big photo and you can take a look at the front of it and also too we usually gather everyone up here to get a nice photo and we put on the lights it's a fun time 
<laughs> we hit the siren because usually everyone's really good. And you can see we have some more hand tools and hoses here because you can never have too many tools and hoses. They always come in handy. And that's about it. We want to give a big thank you to the City of Washington firefighters for bringing their truck to us and teaching us about the fire trucks. Um, in the comments of the video, I want you to answer the question, what kind of fire truck did they bring with them today? What kind did you take a tour of? And we will see you again next week for another virtual field trip.